So Bill, are you around to talk about one of your favorite missions? I sure am. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it. Okay. This is the DART mission. This is the one that might save all our lives someday. It is the double asteroid redirection test. And I should get to that slide. There we go. This is the first time we've ever tested a planetary defense strategy. Planetary defense doesn't mean aliens coming here and you know, spacecraft, it means big impactors, uh, things like asteroids that could slam into us and do lots of damage and destroy a lot of life. You know, just ask the dinosaurs whether they were happy that they didn't have a sophisticated space program. So this image actually shows the components of the thing. You can see the two asteroids, Didymos and Dimorphos. Didymos is the big one. Dimorphos is the small one that orbits Didymos. And you've got the DART mission flying in. And behind it, you can see off to the left there, that little thing. That's a little CubeSat made by the Italian uh, space agency called uh, Lichia Cube. And that's how you say it in Italian anyway. I don't know how you would say it in English. And what that does is it hangs back. It, it's separated about, oh, you know, 15 days before the impact and it takes pictures. So we have a lot of good images of the impact uh, from that, uh, that. And oh, and then down below, you see a picture of the earth with an observatory blown up. That's because there were lots and lots of ground-based telescopes. I'm gonna get to that image here. There it is. You can see how many, the list of, of worldwide ground-based telescopes that watched and monitored this thing. And off to the left, you see uh, Hubble, uh, JWC, and one more, Lucy, which are space-based. So there was a lot of attention paid to this thing. Here is a good little schematic of what happened. You have Didymos in the middle, Dimorphos orbiting it, and you see the DART mission uh, just zooming in there to run into the smaller Dimorphos uh, asteroid and then see what it can do. Can we move an asteroid? Can we redirect an asteroid is, is the question. This is the video of the actual uh, event. You have now, I'm going to tell you, this, this DART mission is, a, is like uh, about 1,300 pounds, and the object it's going to hit is something like... Um, what is it, five, I have the number here, 5.5 million tons. The thing that the asteroid that's being hit, the smaller asteroid is about the same size and mass as the Great Pyramid of Giza. So we're getting it closer and closer and there's that big object, that's not it. We gotta hit this little one and bang, we did it. Here's a picture uh, pretty close up of what it looked like. And then this is the last actual image that it took, the craft itself on its way in before it smashed into the, um, Asteroid. And of course, you know, it was a bullseye. I like to say it was a smashing success. Bullseye is a dark pun, and I know smashing success. I'm sorry, that's the last of my puns. But it really was just a, a much smaller uh, object that hit a much larger object. And now the trick is, uh, do, did we actually have make some impact on it? And it turns out we did. What they were trying to do by hitting the, the asteroid head on Take away some of its uh, momentum, its angular momentum, or its orbital velocity around the bigger asteroid, which would mean it would fall into a lower orbit and go around a little more quickly. So the amount of time that it takes to do one orbit should go down if we're successful. And what they were hoping for was a change of 73 seconds. That would be 1%. And if, that, if they could get 73 seconds shorter orbit, that means there, there's a success here and that this is actually something we can employ if we need to. Um, but they expected to get maybe by calculations up to 10 minutes. You know, math and physics are great, but sometimes you have to go there and find out what you can really do. What they got was not 10 minutes, not 73 seconds. They got 32 minutes of shorter orbital period for Dimorphos going around Didymos. So it was a really, really, really um, great success. And there were some unexpected results, some fun stuff. You can see here the, uh, the bigger asteroid and the asteroid that was hit. Uh, with stuff coming off of it, there's all these tendrils of stuff. The way the, the stuff flew off of the asteroid surprised some scientists. They didn't necessarily expect to see this. There's another image. Here's a really good image. These were all taken by the Italian CubeSat. Um, and the, you could even see the impact and some of the distribution of the matter uh, in the Hubble and the, the JWST uh, space-based telescopes. And then we have a Hubble image that shows the actual impact in a GIF, it just you know getting hit and throwing stuff off into space. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. The next one coming up is, let's see, I believe this was the Atlas group. Uh, it's a group of telescopes, but it's, a, it's a, a little video or GIF. And there it is. That was the impact. And you can see the amount of stuff that was just blown off the surface of the asteroid Dimorphos. What happened to a lot of that stuff is what happens with comets. It created a tail. 
You can see in this image there, just if you look very closely right in the center, this is from our telescope demonstrator, Blake Estes. Great guy, great astronomer, great telescope operator. He now operates a pretty major observatory down in Australia, and he got this image of that tail forming. And the tail seemed to form the same way that comet tails form. That is, there's all this stuff flying off the sun, the solar wind, particles just flying off into space, and they push the matter back until it forms a tail. Okay, so that's great. So here's another picture of the tail. Here's another picture of the tail. All kinds of telescopes took pictures of the tail. Here is the, uh, you can see the virtual telescope. I love this, this group of telescopes. And there it is if you didn't see the actual um, tailed asteroid there. But something else that happened that was interesting is the tail started to split. It became kind of a double tail. And I think that at this point, still nobody really understands exactly why that happened. Comets often have a double tail, but that's because the stuff that comes off a comet is some gases and some dust. So they react differently under the pressure of the solar wind and make two different tails. This is all dust. So we don't really know exactly what's going on there. Finally, this isn't it. We're not done. I mean, there's probably more data even gleaned from this to, to uh, go through, but there's going to be something called the HERA mission that will follow up. Uh, I believe it's going to launch in two years, in 2024, and, and arrive in 2026. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, the timeline for this. And it wants to go back and study these two asteroids more carefully, look at whatever crater might have been made in Dimorphos, and learn what it can about the internals of asteroids, as well as just you know the surface stuff that we normally study. And the way that's partly what it's going to have is a, is a radar instrument that will be able to actually look inside. So it's really interesting stuff. Uh, four years away, but I promise you, absolutely promise you, when it happens, we will cover it. And uh, we'll remind you what happened back here. And, and um, it, it was just a really terrific mission. And like I say, it could save all our lives. Bill, I'm mostly on board with that, but I still feel it's a little bit like innocent asteroid going about its business out of nowhere. <laughs> comes this spacecraft from Earth, assaults it, blows the heck out of it, changes its environment, and then we're going to return to the scene of the crime. I hear you, man. You know, you know, it's, you. It just feels like we're... we're you you know, know, I hadn't thought of it that way, but uh, we might have hurt its feelings. You're 100% you're <laughs> yeah. perfect. We certainly changed its orbit. Yeah, we yeah. changed its orbit. Luckily, the orbit was not changed in a way that this this smaller one can come back and hit Earth. They're nowhere near right. Earth that way. Um, yeah, so, yeah. They think this this little system for that reason it it wasn't headed toward us anyway, and there's no way this impact could have made it head toward us. It was you know on too different a trajectory. So yeah, so exactly. yeah, that are we, somebody in chat, are we the bad guys? It's exactly. Are we the baddies <laughs> this time? I'm thinking about. Um, anyway, well, thank you for that report. Um, sure. The DART mission, indeed, like if the dinosaurs had had DART, maybe they would have been able to think about how to change, you know, the asteroid coming in, a, a healthy observing here. program. Uh, you need to find them before you can redirect them. So let's make sure we're funding these, uh, you know, all sky surveys. They're going to be able to go yes. find them. 